hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me leah aka kenya's finest i recorded part one in may i can't remember now like may and on youtube it says nine or ten months ago so it's been a long time since i recorded this video and i'm not gonna sit here and say oh i'm um, like all these excuses that I have in my head. To be fair, I feel like I have valid reasons, but obviously I could have recorded it in the summer, which I did, but I lost footage and then I just literally got so demotivated. And then this video started getting so many views and people were like, where's part two, where's part two? And it was like, when I recorded it, like a whole month went by and it was like on 1K view. And I know the views shouldn't matter, but it honestly does get to me. It's like, okay, clearly nobody cared for this video. So I didn't want to release part two, but it did so well. And people kept on asking me for part two and I just couldn't put myself, like, I just couldn't like do it. I just couldn't, I'm so sorry guys. Um, But I'm gonna try today for you guys. Um, But yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> the apps that I use the most is Facetune 2. I used to use Facetune 1, but Facetune 2, I feel like it gives you more detail and I'll show you guys later on. Um, so Facetune 2 and that one you have to pay for. So I pay $7.99 per month. I literally just saw that the other day when I looked at my subscription and I was like, excuse me, I'm paying for an app. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, the next one that I use is Snapseed and I'm also going to show you guys how I use that and that one's very good for when the lighting is low and you want to put the lighting up, that is really good and I've always been using that. Um, you can use Preview, I'll just click on it now so you guys could see. So Preview shows you like how to, like you can see like this is how your account looks like. And obviously some of these pictures I actually haven't posted or I've just taken it off my profile. Um, but yeah, preview is really good. And I'll say watch my sister's video. I'll put it in the description box below. Just because she went into more detail and I only found out about preview from her. So she will probably explain it way more better than I would. But I just want to show you guys how it works. And the other stuff that you can see like in short, that's um for like when I record my reels or when I record my TikTok. So if you guys want me to show you guys how I record my reels and TikToks, make sure you comment down below or give this video a thumbs up and I'll actually record that, I promise. Um but yeah, so that's literally how it works. But it has to get over like a hundred likes because if I don't get over a hundred likes I'm not going to record how I record my reels and TikToks because then I wouldn't know if people actually wanted to see it. Do you know what I mean? So make sure you get it to 100 likes, okay? This is basically the picture that I'm going to use. So the first one is this elevated picture. And I'm going to try to focus each thing on a specific thing. I don't want to um, edit the whole picture for you guys. I just want to show you guys how I edit specific things. Um, but they'll all add up together to show you how I edit my whole picture if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> so in this picture what I like to edit is I like to edit my um, armpits I feel like it's normal for black people to have like dark um, knuckles and stuff like that but when it comes to my armpits I do feel very very insecure about it so if anyone has any like suggestions please let me know I need your help um but what I do is basically I go and paint on facetune now I think this feature is only available when you pay for it I just zoom in and I basically go on tone I always pick tone because there's something about paint paint does not do the job but you want to pick so I pick the skin around me, like I'll go for this part because it's fairly dark. I don't want to make it too light because again, your underarms are going to look darker, but I don't want it to be black. Do you know what I mean? I want it to look brown like my skin. Um, and then I go for tone and I just literally paint it like so. And I literally just go over it like that. And that's it so now it pretty much and i always just do that and look look at the difference guys like crazy crazy that is so crazy um so yeah that's what i do with my underarms literally pretty much all the time but right now it looks too fake so what i do i do like to zoom in so i know what i'm looking at I do still add some colour back, so I'll just put it on 88 so it's not giving proper, proper like, 
there's no shadows in my underarms it just i don't want to look like a doll do you know what i mean so i feel like i'm not making sense in this video am i making sense maybe i it's so early and i haven't had breakfast maybe this is why i feel like i'm waffling but that's what i do and then i click I always tick it so with editing what I do I do one part and then I save it I do one part and then I save it obviously don't save the bit the um, picture you just save it like how I just did and then so now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and the thing with my eyebrows um, pretty much I'm going to focus this part on paint like when I paint and with the eyebrow bit I like my eyebrows to look dark so I find like a dark shade in my eyebrows and then I go and paint over the whole eyebrow because I used to use this really light um, eyebrow eyebrow pencil and obviously as you guys can see my eyebrows are not cute this is literally one of the things about my eyebrows that I hate like I can't do eyebrows and today I didn't even bother like thank god I didn't because my eyebrows are crap um, so yes that is pretty much it and it gives you like a darker brow like guys please look at the difference i'm gonna zoom out you probably won't even okay what my eyebrows are dark again i can go all the way dark but i just always like to obviously turn it down a bit so it doesn't look fake still working on paint i go and paint and i click on the dark part again and I do my, I do that to my eyes. Ooh. Put it down a bit though. Um, to be fair, I do like it dark. <laughs> and then I do this side as well. I don't try to find another tone because I want it to all be the same tone. So once I already find a dark tone, I just use it for both, um, both what they called lashes. So that's basically what I do. And ta-da! I am so annoying with this ta-da. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I do. And as you guys can see, my eyes are standing out. My eyes are popping. My eyes are like seducing you right now. Do you know what I mean? Like it is looking, it's looking cute. It's looking cute. But I'm going to turn it down because right now it's looking a bit drag queen, a bit drama i don't like it but i'm gonna show it down not that much though but look at the difference i haven't even edited my face but you can already see a difference in my face because everything is just starting to stand out and that's what i like to do when i edit i want things to stand out i don't want to change anything i just want it to be in your face like bitch i did my makeup but when i take a picture sometimes the makeup does not it doesn't give the next picture that i want to show you guys so th with this i'm going to show you guys how i sharpen my pictures how i make them like really really sharp especially if um there's like a blurry picture that i've taken um i use this to sharpen it so this is the picture go on my instagram by the way so you guys can see the pictures that i've actually posted of these because i haven't picked the pictures well the first picture i actually did post it but this picture i never posted it so go on my instagram check my pictures so you guys can see the final outcome of everything because i'm not going to show you guys the final outcome like i'm going to show you step by step of what i use with different pictures um so what I do is go on, I, I'm not even speaking, I'm literally going like I'm not doing a tutorial. So what you do is you go and edit and you click sharpen and you put it up. Ooh. Well, I'm going to put it on 13 is cute, 13 is cute. Okay, you can already see the difference, like I was so blurry in the face and now I'm clear and I love that. And with this picture as well, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the lighting on Snapseed with a different picture because with this picture, it doesn't really need Snapseed, I wouldn't say. I only use Snapseed when like there's other, um, what is it? Like when there's like a white background or a cream background, that's when I use Snapseed. So what I do is put the brightness up, put it up, put it up, put it up. 
okay you can really see the difference I couldn't see the difference until I put before and after you want to put saturation okay because I am very pale and I don't realize this until it's like editing time and I'm like oh my god I need to tan because I look so 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 pale <laughs> like it's actually ridiculous I don't know if I should start tanning like imagine a black girl tanning but at this point I am literally becoming light skin and it's not what I'm going for like I actually love being brown so I'm gonna pursue tanning I'm just gonna put down the structure I've seen I never actually used it but I used it one time and I realized that it does do something I think but you guys can see I look already pretty much good like I'm glowing I think this is cute oh my hair looks terrible in this but please guys ignore it this is not a tutorial on my hair this is just a tutorial on how to sharpen the pictures I don't know if I need to sharpen it a little bit more I'm a bit extra sometimes when you sharpen it it could look too fake so try to not over sharpen okay i'm gonna leave it as that but this is before and this is after and i feel like it's giving it is giving and then we move over to retouch now with retouch zoom that she already in you see how crazy i look <laughs> Oh my god, I honestly rely on face tubes. So I'm just going to smooth the sides of my face. Um, I don't like to go inside like where I concealed because then it makes my makeup pretty much disappear, which is not why I did a light under eye. I did a light under eye so people could see I did a light under eye. So I tried to avoid that bit. And you just want to brush it out. As I said, I hate to look fake so if i feel like the smoothing has gone to parts where it's gonna look bait i erase it so on my nose i don't like smoothing it because you can literally tell like i could tell when people are smoothing their face obviously you could tell on my pictures i've smoothed my face but it's like it's not do you know them pictures you know one girl who does that let's be serious now we all know a girl who over smoothens her face and it's not cute and we need to at her because she needs to know like we know and it's not cute and she needs to stop so if you don't want to tell her just ended this video but we we need to stop <laughs> we need to stop but already i could already see a difference in my face and i think i look cute okay the before and after is not helping because now i can't even tell but if you zoom in you could definitely tell Ooh. okay okay miss thing so now i'm gonna go in with the white i hope i wasn't smoothing anything i feel like i was okay no i wasn't okay so i'm gonna go in with whiten now with whiten i'm gonna show you guys how to use whiten for your background but that's gonna be later just stay tuned okay so with the whiten i go in on my eyeballs and i literally shade them make sure they're in the right shade next eye shade them okay okay um okay now my eyes is really popping at you like it's do you know what i mean so you can either bring it down but i kind of love when it looks white white because people focus on my eyes guys it's all about the eyes if you have beautiful eyes make sure you edit them so people can know you got beautiful eyes like i'm not telling you to change the color of your eyes but it's about brightening it and that's what i like to do i like to add the whitening i like to paint my eyelashes because it makes my eyes go bright like when you look at my picture bitch you look at my eye okay because i definitely focus on that like i want you guys to look at me focus on me okay okay that is looking cute already oh my god i'm so pretty um i'm gonna do the paint stuff i'm just gonna do it quick so now i'm gonna show you a bit of the things that i sometimes use sometimes do <laughs> you know you know my face if i don't like so sometimes i have like a crooked smile or like one lip looks up and the other one doesn't i don't know if this I feel like this is just naturally my face is actually not symmetrical I don't know why on camera it'd be lying to you guys making it look like I'm symmetrical I am NOT I'm literally lopsided like 
when I take pictures, one side is up, one side is not. Trust me. Obviously, this picture is not really showing what I'm trying to say. But I'm telling you guys, my face is not even. Is not. So sometimes, a girl loves big lips. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I meant by, like, if, like, one side is up, one side is not. So you could just, you have to do this so gently, guys. Like, gently. Don't do it too hard. You just go like that. And your face pretty much goes down. You can see now that I'm not smiling anymore. Do you get what I mean? But I'm not going to do that for this because I actually like my smile. So I'm just going to leave it. But as you guys can see, it reduces as you go. Are you guys seeing? Okay, I hope you guys saw because I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> and then sometimes um, I do plump up my lips. I just love a plummy lip. So I use Refine and I just go up all the way up all the way up and ta-da i got plummy lips you don't need a lip filler honey you just need editing okay so obviously in real life my lips are plump so nobody's gonna come for me don't be doing that if you have no lips babe okay don't because don't be telling people leah did it that's why i'm doing it babe if you don't have lips don't do it there's a smile oh my god look I'm smiling guys can you see like this app is crazy like it can make you smile I probably just want to smile a little bit so I'm gonna put it on five I am already smiling but mm, make put a little smirk and I always feel like smirk gives you like do you know when Tyra used to be like smiles I feel like that's what smirk does for you like it makes you smile, and I love that especially sometimes when I feel like I look too grumpy I love to add a little bit of um the smirk because it makes me just look like I'm a little bit more happy there is glow I'm glowing I don't really sometimes I can't tell the difference with this one but sometimes I can most of the times it's in the forehead let me try zoom in for you guys yeah sometimes it's in the forehead I don't know but I do like to zoom out when I'm oh sorry I do like to zoom out when I'm editing my pictures because I don't want to zoom in get lost and then when I zoom out, it's like, whoa, what the hell? Do you know what I mean? And that's when I feel like some people probably over edit because you've literally zoomed into your face. You're now making yourself look pretty. And then you zoom out and you you see what you've done. And it's literally like, babe, you don't look like yourself. Like, you need to see yourself in all views. So try zoom in and out. Um, don't just zoom in. Um, and then I use cheeks. Cheeks is cute. It kind of gives you like a blush sometimes. Oh, can you guys see? I feel like this picture hasn't really shown its effect, but it is it is looking cute. And sometimes it gets rid of like my light um powder here. I haven't actually got any loud powder right now, but like when I do and sometimes it can look a bit flashbackish, it is nice to add the cheeks to kind of just even out your makeup. Um but yeah, I love that. That looks so pretty. And then there's another jaw one again, and this one actually does work with your haul. Like, I like this one more than the other one. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, cute. And by the way, I did think I was pretty before, but I just love to enhance my beauty. Like, this is not me trying to make myself into a catfish. This is literally me enhancing my beauty. And as I keep on saying, please don't over edit. Like, I know I'm showing you guys this, but I don't want you guys to now feel like, oh my god, I need to do it so I can look pretty. I honestly feel like if you've got the face, the editing is just going to enhance it. If you ain't got the face, then the editing is just going to lie whoa you guys look at the difference <gasps> i gasped what the flip oh my god do you guys see what editing does i went from a zombie to a whole barbie doll in about five minutes well it says nine minutes here but what guys this is crazy okay i think i've finished now but this is crazy, like, my face looks completely different. <laughs> but then you guys have watched me step by step do my face and it didn't, and I didn't think I was doing all of this. I'm going to show you guys how I basically get things to stand out. So with the details, you want to go on the stuff that you want it to stand out. So I go on there, try to bring it down a little bit. You don't want to 
do it too much and sometimes I go on the heels I don't want you guys to see my toes so I'm not gonna go all the way down um cute cute um and then I do my eyes do the eyes do the eyes Ta -da. and then I do my earrings and then I zoom out now guys look at the difference in the bag in the eyes it's all popping out now obviously you can't see too much of a difference but to me I could tell the difference on the bag especially because the bag is now like standing out but yeah that is literally how I edit that picture okay so on Instagram it has certain frames and if you want your picture to remain in a frame this is where preview comes in oh my god everything's starting to add up and I'm getting gassed so I'm gonna picture pick the picture that I just edited and then I use tools and this is on the app Snapseed so what you want to do is it still recording I hope it's still recording okay it's still recording okay so you go on tools and you click crop now you have to use 5.4 or I think it's 4.3 for it to fit on Instagram now 4.3 pretty much is the picture that I took and I just zoom in this is just because I hate my toes they look too long so I'm just gonna crop the toes so this is a really good app when you want to crop it but you still want to remain the frame when you post on Instagram so that's what I do and I just save and this is gonna remain in the frame and I'm gonna save this copy you don't want to save because it's gonna make a change to all the pictures that you well to the picture that I just edited I just want to make another copy of it with like a cropped leg now what you want to do is go on preview right there and I'm gonna click this plus button library and that's how it's gonna look like when you basically put it on your feed now I didn't used to use preview but I see now how useful it is so the last picture I'm gonna use for this is um, snapseed so what I do is go in tools go on selective click and what I do is increase the brightness oh you see that you see the background you see the background okay right okay now the background has gone from black to white real quick and I do it on the other side now if you don't want it to go on your face you could just so what I'm doing is literally pinching I'm pinching it like that I don't know if you guys can see but I'm literally pinching it so it could come together and the red bit should not be on your face because I'm not trying to brighten my face I'm trying to brighten the background and I'll literally just add like a few of these around just so it could brighten every bit Ta -da! and I'm gonna brighten this part okay this is looking cute okay this is looking cute okay so save that and that's 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 it literally before and after before and after and that's how i brighten my backgrounds if i i'm like in a dark room this is why when i take pictures i'm not first i'm like i'm gonna edit it anyways <laughs> like literally i was like i'm gonna edit it anyways so I'll just take the damn picture if it's dark i don't care take the picture obviously there's a limit that like there's actually a limit <laughs> don't be just taking pictures in the dark thinking oh yeah snapseed's gonna fix it no be no be because you'll find out it probably won't fix it so try to still be at least you know considerate about where you're taking it and that's why you guys should watch my first video if you have not watched my first video make sure to check it out so you guys can know how i take my pictures and how i plan my pictures um I'm going to save this, so export, save this copy, and we're going to go back to Facetune. And with Facetune, I'm going to show you this. I don't need to do this for this picture, but I think it's the best picture to show you guys 
what I use this tool for and how I use it so in my first video I did tell you guys that you can whiten your backgrounds if you if you have like blue background or cream oh girl don't be trying it if you have an orange background don't be using this it's only if you have a shade which is close to white don't be using it for all shades because it's not it's not gonna work <laughs> so I go and what I click whiten and whiten was on the retouch bit and I basically just shade it like that like I just shade the white bits that I want to brighten and as I said I wouldn't normally do it for this picture and I don't think I did when I released the actual pictures for this um but it's just something that I could show you guys with with this I'm doing it very scruffy because normally I would zoom in and make sure it's not on anything else but the wall but right now, I'm just going to do a bit scruffy because I'm not going to use this picture. Um, make sure to shade everything. Okay. And you could just click the erase to see where it's at. So it's not on like your face or anything. And then, whoa, it will literally just brighten it up. But that is crazy. Like the backdrop is now white it's no it's no longer that creamy white color it is white and obviously you could go really high but that looks so fake but you guys see the difference crazy i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope i didn't speak so fast but i did tell you guys like i haven't eaten breakfast i don't know why i have this much energy but i think it's just because it's in the morning and i'm not tired but um yeah like i hope you guys could understand me if you couldn't understand me please comment down below and ask me specific things that you didn't understand but thank you guys so much for watching i know i've kept you guys waiting but thank you for reaching the end and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and give me a huge thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye